right, the equipment is very simple. You want to get an old extension cord that's about 20 to 30 feet long. Your pole has got to be approximately 8 feet in the air. And you're going to use a pulley that's basically a 3 inch pulley or bigger, the wheel is. Now what you do is you're going to put through the pulley, you're going to put one in, and the reason you do electrical cord is electrical cord will not get hung up in the pulley. And, and on the end of the electrical cord that's going to go on the dog is a hasp that you can clip. So you want a clip like so that you can clip on his, on his collar. Now, the way we're going to do this is so that the dog does not feel any pain. There's no pain to the dog. You go through the collar, down toward his tail, and when you get to his back hip, you go around his hip and then clip it back to the cord. Now when we pick him up, we're not picking him up by the collar, we're picking his whole body up. Now what you want to do is you want to tell the dog, whoa, and you want to show him an open hand. And if he, and all you got to do is tell the dog, whoa, and right, raise him off the ground, slowly get both feet off the ground, and let him down, and say, whoa. Now he's gonna wiggle on you first few times, but all you got to do is this about three times a day, I'm sorry, three, yeah, do the rep this, about three times in one segment and then stop and then do it for about five days and he'll be woe broke. Now, this dog is a little less than three years old. Now we're gonna do it again. Tell him whoa, whoa Max. Whoa Max. Good boy. Now, to follow through, once we do that for five days, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unclip him and clip it to his collar. All right, we're gonna go back through the collar with the cord, clip his collar, bring it out of the pulley, and we're gonna, and we're gonna probably have to do this after about three days of raising him off the ground. Now, He's loose. Come on, Max. And you're going, you're going to walk the dog. Come on, Max. Whoa! And you're going to say, whoa. Now, if he doesn't whoa, you move him again and tap him on the nose when he tries to move gently. You don't hit him on the nose hard. Now, if you get him to come and, he, and you say whoa and he doesn't come, then you put him back on the pulley. But watch this case. Now, come on. Whoa. You can put the cord down, you can walk around, and he's not going anywhere. He's fully broke. Now, what can happen is when you're out there in the field and you can get him like you want to and he's messing with your cows, you tell him to whoa and he'll do this for you. And as he gets better, you don't have to have anything on him and he's still going to whoa for you. Now watch this. Here. Now he'll come to you. Now all you got to do is say whoa. Call me. Good luck.